suspected driving this morning was treacherous in a lot of places. Many of you reported I-69 was especially slick. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson is live now with a look at current conditions. How is it, Alyssa? Good afternoon. We are live along I-69 just south of the 109 exit and traffic is moving a lot better now than it was earlier this morning. It was really dicey for a lot of morning commuters, but you can still see kind of in the far left-hand lane that little sheen. There is still ice out on the roads and people need to remember that even though the sun's shining, it's looking a lot better. It's still not completely gone from all of this winter blast that we had the past couple of days. And we're joined with Mary Foster from the Indiana Department of Transportation. And Mary, you just talked with uh, one of your drivers this morning, and, and he's excited. Yeah, they are actually excited right now because they're seeing progress. You know, we've had the last couple of days where we've been out, we've been treating, we've been trying to make some headway really weren't making any headway. Everybody was exhausted, but it's like there's a renewed sense of energy right now because you can see the progress. And how has this storm really been different from what we're used to getting in this area? Well, we had a lot of snow, and if the temperatures had been higher, we would have made good progress as we went. We had the really, really cold temperatures move in, and the salt, even chemically treated salt, just wasn't working like it does at higher temperatures. So we weren't making much headway. What we were getting is something called hard pack or snow pack, where it was packed down, and actually there was like a sheen of ice over the top of it. So it was like driving just on a, a bed of ice. Now, you are making progress right now, but tomorrow morning people should still be cautious. That's right. Um, we are going to have temperatures drop tonight. There could be some sections of black ice. We'll be out all night treating it, but our routes do take two hours to complete. So, you know, by the time we get back around, there could be some ice that's formed. Commuters should take it slow. Don't be overconfident. Just, you know, Treat it as if there's ice on the road. Drive slowly. Allow extra time. Great. Mary Foster with the Indiana Department of Transportation. Thank you very much. And so, as you just heard, the road's still pretty dicey out there. And as they get better throughout the day, they could worsen again. 28 accidents is what Fort Wayne police responded to this morning. We're live along I-69. Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.